Hello my friends, today I'm going to talk about joy. The concept of joy in the Bible is not dependent on our circumstance or happen, happen, happening in our daily lives. Instead, joy is part of the fullness of God. Let's take a few moments today to better understand how we can have this joy ourselves. We as God's creation are a broken people because of sin. Sin is punishable by death. However, Jesus took our desired place by dying on the cross for us. This act of Jesus' obedience brings us in fullness of God's joy as we accept his gift. My, by accepting what Jesus did for us, we are restored and made whole in God's presence. Let's see. Jesus said this in John 15, 9, 11. As the Father has loved me, I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remained in his love. I have told you these things so that you may, that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. So in other words, basically love and joy are, um, call, okay, come. I don't know what the word, but they're basically conjoined together. So if you have love, you also have joy. Um, doing God's work is joy. Uh, well, love and joy. Um, basically reading the word, which God's word is love. Uh, but anyway, basically, what I'm saying here, my brain is not functioning. I'm actually getting, actually starting to get, not uh, starting to get cold. So if my, uh, just bear with me, my brain's processing slowly today. If we keep his commands, Father's commands, and remain in his love. So basically, if we're obedient to God, we love him. If we're disobedient, we, uh, I don't know. If, I, I don't, like I said, my brain's. So anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. You can make your interpretation. I read what it says. So, I've been boring. Well, here's another scripture. Read what Jesus said about command, commands in Matthew 22, 37, 40. He said to him, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important command. The second is, the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these commands. So basically, if the love of Love the Lord, God, with all your heart, soul, mind. That it's that's the greatest and most important commandment of all. And then basically, love your neighbor yourself. If you don't love yourself, you don't love your neighbor. If you don't love yourself, you don't love God. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. I may be wrong, but you should love yourself. I mean, we have, this world is so deluded saying that we need Botox, that we need to wear so much freaking makeup, that kind of stuff. But go by God's commandment because we're supposed to love ourselves no matter what weight we are, no matter how tall we are, no matter how we age. Um, yeah, I'm going to go basically go on the thing. Botox, I think, is totally stupid. For one thing, people are trying to reverse the clock. Okay, age. Okay, if you're you're going to age, you age. There's no stopping that. Plain and simple. Um, we do need to keep our, do need to keep our bodies. Uh, 
in really good shape and that means not eating a lot of junk food i know it's hard i've gone through that it's but i've done it i've stayed away from that so long now that it's become easy and natural for me to eat a lot healthier i still pray to god and say please help me because i'm not doing it on my own power stay away from you know cakes cookies candies ice cream the sugary junk food stuff um, that's by God's power that I'm able to do that um, but like I said I'm sort of bleh. so my mind's not fully functioning which it does when I'm starting to feel really sick and it's just my brain gets so tired and it's like I don't my brain's like I don't want to think because I am fighting a cold and I'm just tired. So that's basically the way my body is sometimes. But I'm doing a lot better because staying healthy, um, it will probably help me to bounce back quicker from the cold. I mean, I'm still, I'm at work and I'm still, you know, power running. Even though I feel like uh, my head's clogged up and stuff, my nose is having issues, but I still power walk, and it seems to be working because I'm fine. This morning when I woke up, I wasn't fine. I felt like, Ugh. so. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going on a weird, weird rant it right there. So anyway, I'll be doing Exodus. Um, I'm not going very much in explanations, a lot of stuff. Uh, because like I said, my brain's not functioning correctly right now, but I'll do the best I can. I just can tell you that, that I'll try to do the best I can. So anyway, I will talk to you guys there. Bye!